So every day I wake up and the first thing that I do is I go to the kitchen and make myself a cup of tea and then I just come here sit at this exact table and start to look for some really really nice images for my next artwork. That's exactly what I do for the first hour of my morning. And on that day I found this stunning image. It's a girl with some gradient background with neon blue and pink colors and immediately my mind went just boom. I knew that I need to use that artwork. And this is how I created this stunning artwork that I called the keyboard go. The idea was that at some point we will stop using our mouses and we'll just type anything in order to communicate. And this is not going to be a detailed tutorial, this is going to be more of a, the process behind the scenes. It's going to be more like a story and I hope you're going to enjoy this. So first of all, like always, we start with importing the image and ritual number one is to edit the colors. And here I decided to start with hue saturation, trying just to change the colors completely, but it didn't work the way I wanted it to work so I have to go to my old friend camera raw filter and here I was just trying to find the perfect tint and temperature you know I needed to decide is it going to be cold or is it going to be a warm artwork what feelings do I want to give the viewer and after playing for a while I finally decided on the contrast and brightness next step was to define the tone of every color you know I was trying to make it really really pink by making even red and oranges really really pink and I was trying to change the green and blue colors so that they look cyan and finally I found it this is the perfect color exactly what we need the reason why this is so good is because it's a combination of two worlds we have here this warm pink and here we have this cold blue and in most cases they don't work that well together but here somehow they did fit in the same image this image already on its own could be a separate artwork next thing that i did is i needed to come up with an idea to use on this image for things like that i have my notes where i usually write down all the ideas that I get and the reason you need to write down your ideas because you forgot them after a while of course and I had only three words here keyboard instead of mouse but that was already enough for me to understand what is going on here next step was to find a really nice image of keyboard and I just decided to search keyboard and here I was looking through tons of different images of keyboards and it was so difficult to find the right image because when you got so many images you don't really know which one to choose it's too many if, you, if I had only two options then the choice would be much easier. This was my first choice but I wanted something that has more depth to its keys. I wanted the keys to be really visible. And then I found this. This was just perfect. It is an old keyboard but it has the depth to it. You can see each keyboard, you can see the space between them. Retro style, it looks just so amazing. I immediately imported it to my artwork and next step was to cut it so i just decided to create a selection and just create a mask and cut out the keyboard but now i still need to do more adjustments i need to get rid of the useless edges that were there and i need to do it on all sides so of course it took me some time while doing that just like always i had doubts in my mind i was going back and forward to other keyboard images to see did i really make the right choice but finally after defeating the doubts i decided to continue my journey now it was time to make the keyboard look more realistic for that i just used the warp option and uh, my goal was to warp it around her face and this actually did take some time since in order to make it realistic it's actually very difficult I had lots of unlucky tries but after spending almost 30 minutes on it I saw that this is finally it next goal was to adjust the color of this keyboard to the color of the background image and for that I just decided to use Photoshop's auto match option and it actually did work pretty well as you can see it looks pretty realistic and the colors are also almost the same but of course we still need to do a lot in order to make it look really realistic one of the really big things that I was missing was shadow and I just decided to draw the shadow manually by using black brush and just drawing it under the keyboard every time you draw shadow manually it's very difficult to make it look really good because sometimes you have to go erase and start over and if you look here we already have shadow here but still I wanted to give more depth to it and for that I actually had to add even more shadows here as you can see I just started drawing between the keyboards in the spaces and before I drew between all the spaces I zoomed out I looked at this 
I saw the shadows and I thought to myself, this looks awesome. <laughs> I like what it was becoming, so I decided to continue and draw even more shadows between the keys. So it took me some time to finish drawing the shadows, but finally I was done, or at least I thought so. So now when I looked at this keyboard, something was missing. It didn't feel right. What do I mean here is if you look at this texture of this image, the texture of her face, of her skin, we can see these dots here everywhere. We don't have these dots on the keyboard and for that reason I just decided to copy the skin from here and just draw it over the keyboard. I know what you think, what is that? But wait, next step was to blend this texture with the keyboard and for that I was just going through different blending modes trying to find the right one. Finally I found the one that I really like but still it didn't look right. So my next attempt to fix this was adding noise and here as you can see I just decided to add some noise and play with noise options to see if it looks good and finally that was it. Now the keyboard is the way I want it to be. And before we continue our story another work or I would say animation that did pretty well in my Instagram was actually this animation as you can see where her face is getting washed off or this animation with the same technique where her face is actually getting back or this one again where the face is just liquid and it's just getting down. The reason why I show that to you because recently I actually released a class where I teach how to create this animation using After Effects and it doesn't matter if you have never used After Effects I will show you everything from the beginning till the end it's gonna be really easy trust me just make sure to go to learnfromfred.com and here you can actually start learning for free and access not only that class but all of my other crazy artworks and classes and you can start enjoying all of this for free and now we can continue our story so now if you look here we can see that we still can add more shadows you know in between the notes and the keyboard and that's what I started doing on the left and on the right I created a copy of this keyboard and moved it to the back just to create more depth as you can see here and make it look 3d my goal was to add some gradient here in order to mix it with the keyboard so it really looks like a part of it and I was just experimenting a lot and a lot finally I found what I like some small things to do were to soften these edges by using mask and making them round and doing it for the both the right and left edges as well now the eyes you already know that I love eyes and I just couldn't go without editing them out of all of the possible colors I just felt like green is going to be the best and as you can see I just decided to draw green all I had to do now is change the blending mode I drew the whole eye with green color and then immediately opened outer glow and added some green glow from the eyes to make her look like some modern gadget this exact moment yes that exact moment when I looked at this talk and I knew that this is a hit this was probably the best thing I have created in the last few weeks if not in the last months next step was to add some green color here because as you can see we have here this glows and of course this also needs to be affected because we want it to look realistic now the only thing that we are left is to create this band here and honestly at this point I was already tired and I got pretty lazy so and you will see why instead of creating something totally new I just decided to copy the texture that we have created before and just to move it right to rotate it a little bit and then use mask in order to remove it from the places that doesn't need to be and also just get rid of it mainly delete most of it until it looks like a band and as you can see then I was just using mask and white color in order to reveal it again and to bring it back to the ear and voila you have to agree that that was pretty lazy solution and the last part of our magic of course to add some shadows here between the face and the band doesn't matter how lazy the solution was the main point is that it actually worked pretty good I think it's perfect if it would be bad of course I would delete it and do something else and that that's how this was born. Guys, I really hope you loved the process. That was it for today. Make sure to like and tell in comments what do you think about this artwork and what in general do you think about this format of video. With that said, I will go back to Narnia. Yeah, back there. Bye bye.